If you are interested in shopping this, you will know everything that you will need to know watching this video. Hey there everyone, this is Jessica for DomesticatingMe.com and here is the video you've probably been waiting for, I know some of you have, from my DMs. Here is the video of everything you need to know about the Raban and H&M collaboration collection. If you're new here, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I'm a lifestyle creator and I cover everything from fashion to beauty, DIY project, and everything in between, but I am especially known for covering collaboration collections. In fact, I was featured in a New York Times article talking about the last H&M collaboration with Mugler. If you are new to these videos, the way that I do them is that I talk a little bit about the history, the collaboration itself, and then today we're gonna look at all of the pieces from the collection. I will include prices so that you are prepared if you are interested in shopping this, you will know everything that you will need to know watching this video. So let's talk about Raban. Raban, the brand formerly known as Paco Raban, was founded by Paco Raban himself, but he was actually born Francisco Rabanada Cuervo in Spain. His mother was a head seamstress for Cristobal Balenciaga, but when the Civil War broke out, his father was executed, and so his family fled to Paris. While in Paris, he studied architecture, but made money by creating fashion sketches for brands like Dior and Givenchy. He then went on to create jewelry for those brands and Balenciaga before launching his own brand. What he's known for is creating pieces from metal and plastic. In fact, for the launch of his brand in 66, he created the collection 12 unwearable dresses in contemporary materials. And so this is what he became known for. And in fact, when I think of Paco Rabanne, I think of the late 60s, 70s disco era, Studio 54. I think about that fashion, but then again, with those metal discs, the mesh. I think about what he designed for Jane Fonda for the film Barbarella. Again, these beautiful pieces made from materials that are just not common when you're thinking about fashion and clothes. He then went on to create fragrances, which we still see around today. He was an eccentric man. He claimed to be the oldest living soul on earth, that in a past life he killed Tutankhamun, that he was from some otherworldly plane. You guys can look into that if you want, but for this video, we're gonna move on. So he officially retired in 1999. In 2013, Julian Dosena was named the new creative director. Paco Rabanne passed away in Paris in February of this year, and in June of this year, it was announced that Paco Rabanne will no longer have that name. It was rebranded and is now known as simply Rabanne. Which brings us to the collaboration. Now I'm going to read you something from the website. It says, The House of Rabanne redefined contemporary glamour when it was founded in 66 by the visionary Mr. Paco Rabanne. Inspired by the kinetic art movement, unconventional materials, and making the impossible possible, he created innovative and provocative garments that equally scandalized and delighted society, pushing the limits of fashion. Julien Dosena, who took over as Rabanne's creative director in 2013, has led the brand into a brilliant new era. Uniting futuristic concepts and meticulous craftsmanship, Dosena dreamed up stunning unique pieces that celebrated the brand's history. Together with H&M, Dosena has designed an exuberant, dazzling selection of women's wear, men's wear, and home decor. You'll find a tantalizing and celebration-ready mix of signature pieces and brand new instant favorites. Silky chain mail, glittering disc dresses, swinging palette pumped maxi skirts and tops, sharp tailoring, folk revival florals, bold 70s prints, baroque details, romantic ruffles, dance floor, dominating accessories, and so much more. A truly unmissable collection from an iconic groundbreaking house. Why this collaboration? Now I've talked about this in previous collections but there's always something in it for both parties. These agreements are made between two companies because they're both getting something out of it. So what are they getting out of it? I mentioned that in June of this year, it was rebranded, the company was rebranded, and so now it's no longer Paco Rabanne, it's just Rabanne. I feel like there's no better way to say this is the new era for this brand and for this house. For H&M, obviously, it's an opportunity for them to bring a luxury designer, famous, uh, well-known, at least at one time was super well-known, uh, you know, collection to their stores. And of course, with all the PR and coverage that that brings. And for Raban, we're getting a look at what the new Raban is and will be. For me, because uh, I just have a little special place in my heart for 70s fashion. Uh, I, it just reminds me of my mom. My mom was fabulous during that era, so I loved looking at pictures of her, of what she was wearing. And so for me, I always knew of the brand Paco Rabanne because I just have a little bit of a infatuation with the fashion of that era. But for a lot of people, my husband included, because I was having a conversation with him, when he thinks, when he hears Paco Rabanne, he thinks fragrances. And so for me, I think of the original brand, 
a lot of people today think of the fragrances and not so much the fashion. They are trying to make a comeback. Now let me be clear, Paco Rabanne never disappeared in obscurity. They have been around and they are still loved and worn by celebrities and stylists. But I would definitely say that it hasn't been as recognizable and loved and worn as other brands. And I don't think it's as popular or as lauded as it once was. This is an opportunity, again, for them to say, this is who we are, this is who we're going to be, so check us out. And they were going to get a ton of press, obviously. And then by being at H&M stores, they're getting an opportunity at getting new customers, new fans. And as I've hypothesized before, they're getting an opportunity to be in front of customers that perhaps are young and not able to buy directly from the brand right now. But as they grow older and start working and start earning higher salaries, will become shoppers of the main line. And something else that's a little special about this collaboration is that it'll be the first time that Raban as a brand does homeware. For them, I feel like this is an opportunity also for them to experiment a little, to try something out, and then decide whether they are going to be launching their own home line eventually down the road. In addition to that, this collection will feature men's pieces, women's pieces, new designs, and then archival designs as well. All right, with that said, let's take a look at the collection. So we're gonna start off by looking at the women's collection. And the first thing I see here is that metal mesh headpiece. This is $259. This is an archival piece, or at least it's inspired by an archival piece because I've seen this from the brand before. The one right next to it is a metal mesh top with fringe that costs $349. I love this piece and I love the skirt that comes along with it if you want to make a full look, a full set. The skirt underneath it is $449, absolutely beautiful. I am so excited to feel these pieces in person. And then right next to that we see the sequined flared skirt dress which is $449. After that we see the small metal mesh bag for $259, very vintage looking to me. And then my favorite piece from the whole collection, this dress is phenomenal and it is a metal mesh dress for $749. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, underneath that we have the shimmery metallic dress pant for $129. There we get a little more economical. Um, and then the shoes for $299. We have the triangle scarf for $259 and then the disc embellished shoulder bag for $299. Here we see some faux fur pieces. We have the fuzzy coat for $449 and then the fuzzy scarf for $84.99. My personal opinion, to be completely honest, that faux fur look, not my favorite. Then we have the sequined crop top for $84.99. Definitely more accessible, one of the most accessible pieces from the collection. And then we have the sequin flare skirt for $299. Then we have the buckle detail chain waist belt for $149. The metal mesh bag with fringe for $349. We have the slides for $149. And then the metal mesh scarf with fringe, this thin long scarf for $199. We have the sequin disc mini dress for $400. $149, the sequin disc top for $299, then we have the short disc uh, necklace for $129, the disc beaded earrings for $84.99, the disc embellished shoulder bag for $259. We have another beaded uh, headpiece right here for $259. These mesh earrings I have to see in person. I love mesh earrings, so these these look cool. These are clip-on earrings, so you don't have to be pierced to wear them. Um, that is $84.99. Then we have the disc bracelet for $74.99. We have these metallic cowboy boots for $449. Then we have this fabulous wool jacket. It's uh, giving all the regal pomp and circumstance of a military coat. Personally for me, it also gives a little bit of marching band, but hey, if that's your look, that's your thing, it looks, I mean, it looks amazing. 
There is a pant that goes along with that, and that is $129. Then we have this button-down shirt for $149. We have a little bit of a Victorian style dress here, a little different. This is uh, a jersey puff skirt dress for $129. Then we have this one, which I really love. This is the embellished chiffon dress for $449. The bottom is sheer, so be aware of that. Then we have the embellished chiffon cape top for $199, a bralette for $34.99, the lace shorts for $34.99, the rhinestone embellished tights for $49.99, the jersey scarf detail top for $74.99, the buckle detail t-shirt for $64.99, the jersey buckle detail skirt for $99, and then we have the pieces of the track suit. The, the uh, track jacket is $99, and then the track pants are $99, and then we have the t-shirt for $39.99. Fabulous, fabulous. We have the lace trim satin and leopard print dress for $84.99. The rhinestone embellished tights in that red for $49.99. I love these two pieces. This is the glittery knit uh, top for $84.99, really well priced. I have to see the material in person, but to me, aesthetically, it looks beautiful. The pants for $84.99, again, economical, bold print, just eye-catching love. We have the leopard dress for $199, the leopard print tights for $39.99, then we have the glittery knit hat in that print for $34.99. We have that t-shirt, um, which I think is cool, pretty cool for a t-shirt, in the leopard print for, for $49.99. A leopard print bikini pieces. The top is $34.99 and then the bottoms are $34.99 as well. The scarf in that print for $64.99. Then we have this interesting knit button down dress for $199. Then we have the fuzzy detail wool coat for $499. Love this coat, not a fan of the fur. If it didn't have the fur, I would be in trouble. I would definitely be adding this to my cart, but because of those fur pieces, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I'm just not a fan of that fur, so because of that, I'm skipping it, but it is a really nice coat. I really like the button detail. Um, and so if you like that faux fur, then this might be for you. We have the sequin disc crop top for $129 and then the sequin disc mini skirt for $299 in that gorgeous purple. And then we have a sequin crop top for $199. Then we have the disc embellished shoulder bag for $259. The sequin pants that goes with that crop top, $299 there. The embellished jersey turtleneck top in green, that one is $74.99. Then we have a knit crystal embellished knit cap for $64.99. Then the cardigan in that mohair blend for $149. Then the crop top in the same knit for $99. And then the scarf in the same knit with the crystals for $99. Okay, now let's take a look at the men's. For the men's, we have the shimmery metallic suit jacket for $299. The shimmery metallic tailored pant for $129. The sequined shirt for $119. The belt for $99. This chainmail top, look at that, $449. Then there's a metal mesh necklace bag for $64.99. Sequin briefs, who doesn't need a pair of sequin briefs? in their uh, drawers, $74.99 for that one. A metal mesh tank top for $449. A metal mesh earring, a single earring for $49.99. Then we have this mesh metal triangle scarf for $149. Another pair of boots uh, for $449. A fuzzy hooded jacket, $349. A satin detail tuxedo jumpsuit for $449. Then this uh, buckle detailed leather boots for $349. The leopard print button down shirt for $74.99. The mohair blend jacquard knit scarf for $84.99. Then we have a mohair blend jacquard knit uh, turtleneck top for $129. And then the knit 
cap in that same material for $64.99. Then we have a three pack of cotton boxer briefs in leopard print for $49.99. The wool pea coat for $449. The wool mock turtleneck sweater for $119. Then we have that similar uh, military marching band, whatever you prefer to call it, <laughs> uh, pant in 119. We have a track jacket for 99, then track shorts for 49.99, a em crystal embellished turtleneck for 74.99, a t-shirt for 49.99. Then we have a green track suit. The jacket is $99 as well as the track pant. A Looks like a little crystal embellished Raban logo shirt for $49.99. A three pack of socks for $29.99. A green cap for $64.99. And then the slides for $129. Now let's get to the home collection again. This is a first for Raban. So let's see what they have. We have a sequin disc table lamp for $471. Look at that. A playing card set for $36.99 a five pack metal dice set for $31.99, a stainless steel box for $42.99, a stainless steel cup for $20.99, a stainless steel bottle for $36.99, a large stainless steel vase for $137, then a small stainless vase for $67.99, a metal candle holder for $67.99, a scented candle for $59.99, another metal candle in the silver toned metal for $67.99, and then another scented candle in the silver toned metal for $56.99. Then we have the sequin disc curtain for $321. Okay, a stainless steel tray for $91.99. Uh, looks like an end table, no price there. A wool blend logo throw for $137, a second throw for $137, and then a patterned wool rug for $581, a pillow for $42.99, another pillow for the same price, a cotton hair turban for $26.99 in white and also available in black. Then we have a patterned cotton bathrobe for $171, comes in white or off-white cream and black and then we have the terry bath towel again in that same kind of creamy white color and then the black and those are 56.99 a cotton eye mask for 36.99 and then cotton slippers for 42.99 all right and that was the entire collection with the prices now for my thoughts and opinions as I've mentioned I am a fan of the brand and you know from its glory days in the 70s and that disco you know studio 54 era i am a fan of using these mesh metallic pieces i just find them very interesting and beautiful and to own something like that is very special i will say that you should disregard whether something is for the men's collection or for the women's collection. If you like the pieces, you can absolutely wear them. I love some of the archival pieces and opportunity to own something like that. Again, it's just really great opportunity for the everyday person who has a little bit of a bigger budget than your average H&M shopper, granted, but it's definitely an opportunity for it to be more accessible to more people. The pieces that I absolutely love, number one is that metal mesh dress for $749 and I'm in serious trouble because that is the one piece that I really, really love and it's $750 so by no stretch of the imagination is it cheap, easy, you know, a, a quick buy for me. I'm going to seriously think about it because I do love so many other pieces from the collection. I love the fringe top and skirt. Probably not for me because it's a little leaves me a little too exposed for my taste, but that other dress for $449 is also quite special. I am not a fan of that fuzzy faux fur. I just don't think it looks very nice for my personal opinion, so I'm skipping that, which is really unfortunate because that wool jacket looks really beautiful, but the collar and the cuffs really just, I mean, fortunate for my bank, I'm not even you know, I'm not even considering purchasing that. Even if those pieces were to come off, if you could take them off, it does, I'm not gonna spend $500 for a coat that I then, you know, remove pieces from and not wear. Not for me, 
but I can see that jacket, that military style or marching band style, however you want to look at it, I can see it on other people looking incredible. I mean, it's definitely beautiful pieces, beautiful colors, very eye-catching. Not for me, but I could appreciate it on someone else. I loved that chiffon dress. Even though it's sheer, you know, you have, they are selling the bralette and the lacy shorts that you could wear underneath. You could wear your own slip underneath it, but I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I really like that. They always include things like t-shirts, which are not the most exciting thing for me, but again, more accessible to more people. I love this set. Not for me because I am not a big print wearer, but I would appreciate this so much on other. I mean, it looks fantastic on this model. So that set to me is incredible. I'm curious to see if that if those purple sequin pieces would match the purple sequin Fendi baguette. I mean, because hello, how about that for a monochrome look? How to shop the collection. The Obama H&M collection will be available for purchase on November 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern online. Approximately one hour before the launch, H&M.com will temporarily close. Due to the anticipated high demand, they will admit as many customers as possible while ensuring a positive site experience. There is a limit to one piece of each style per customer. The shopping limit applies to the entire Ravon by H&M collection except home items and will end three hours after launch in store. The collection will also be available at select stores worldwide. In the U.S., they will be available at the Atlantic Station in Atlanta, at the Michigan Avenue location in Chicago, at the Galleria in Houston, at the Fig at 7th and Century City locations in Los Angeles, at the Lincoln Road location in Miami Beach, and at Four Times Square and Fifth Avenue locations in New York City. You will have seven days from the day that you purchase in-store or seven days from the arrival of your online purchase to make your returns. If purchased online, you can make your returns both through mail and in-store. If you purchase in-store, you have to return them to the store. Home products purchased online can only be returned via mail. Based on my past experiences, customers are usually given color-coded wristbands and then taken into the store in small groups where you're allowed to shop for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you're given additional time to try on your pieces in the dressing rooms. So am I going to personally shop this collection? You know I'm going to go to the store. You know I'm going to check it out. Again, I am in trouble because I really love that $750 dress. I just, I have to put it on and decide whether it's something that I'm going to purchase or if I let that slide so that I could maybe pick up a couple of other pieces. So I, I really don't know. I will say that, at least for me, the only point of shopping this collection is for those incredible evening event pieces. So when I think of Paco Rabanne or Rabanne now, I think about those dresses, those special evening going out dresses, and I am just not doing that these days. I have three kids, I have a one-year-old, I'm taking care of my mom, I am not going out in the evenings. I'm definitely not going to any nightclubs. I can probably count on one hand how many evening events I've gone to in the last this year. <laughs> I have to really think about it, whether I want to invest in one piece or multiple pieces from this collection, understanding that I'm not going to wear them that often. But part of me who loves fashion, who loves fashion history, who loves that era, it's going to be hard for me to pass up something from this collection because I feel like I just need something like that in my collection. I want, I, well, who needs, but I want something like that in my collection that I can just, every once in a while, will just be able to pull out. We need to take a look at the material in person to see the quality, but with these collections, with these prices, they're pretty much telling you that the quality is going to be there. One of the biggest criticisms that I see from this collection is that people get upset who shop the main line, get upset that these pieces are made available for a lesser price, so why am I going to shop the main line when I can shop this, you know, more economical version, a cheaper version at H&M? And my answer is always the same. No, you can't. No, you can't. It's not that easy to get these pieces. These are very limited. Um, they're only sold in a few select stores. So it's not that easy to get these pieces at these prices. So a year from now, two years from now, if you wanted this dress, for example, for you know one of these dresses for like $500 or the ones that are under $300, it's not like you could just go to H&M and pick it up. You know, It's very limited. It's not easy to get. So people who want to invest on the main line, 
they're still getting their quality pieces. They're still getting their piece that will be in their collection. You know, I would understand if like Raban has a line at H and M now, and so every season Raban will have a collection. But it's not like that. It's very limited. A few pieces when they're gone, they're gone, and you can't get them. You can't even get them if you want it now. It just depends if you're able to get in line and able to check out before things sell out. If you are able to get online at one of those stores that has these pieces available, because again, they're not available at every H and M. They're only at select stores nationwide. And again. Part of this collection is that home wear section. Raban has never made home goods before, so this is a first for them. And while the pieces look interesting and good, I'm not interested in that right now. But if you are, definitely check those pieces out. See if it's you know if it's within your aesthetic, if it's within your budget. If you want to own some of these limited edition pieces, then definitely check that out. I also wanted to add that because this collection is so large, I find it a bit overwhelming. Not only will it be difficult to decide what pieces you want, but I can see it being a little bit of a difficult shopping experience in store. I almost don't know if it's better to have a smaller collection where you can more easily decide what you want but have less of a chance of acquiring them or having such a large collection like this one where you have a lot more choices, maybe you will have a difficult time narrowing down what you want, but more people will be able to get more pieces. Now, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you shopping this collection? Are you interested? Are you skipping it? Are you someone who is against these collections? Are you someone who shops these collections? Let me know your thoughts down in the description box below. Let me know if you want me to cover anything specific uh, in the next couple of days, whether I cover it in an Instagram story or a YouTube short or something in the community page. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, comments, or just say hi because you guys know that I love to hear from you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned. And definitely stay tuned because hopefully I will have a haul coming up.